Hey, uh, what's good? Y'all, your boy back again in it all black again. Y'all see what time it is. Let's go. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Starr presiding. Hurry up and sit your Jackson ass down. Thank you very much. Mr. Jackson, you opened this case today because you fear your girlfriend, Miss Hawkins, isn't ready to walk down the aisle, and you need to know the truth. Yes, Your Honor. And Miss Hawkins, you say it's Mr. Jackson. Man, how the hell is they in divorce court and they ain't even got married, bro? Jackson, not you who has driven a wedge between the two of you. You say his lies, laziness, and jealousy are the real reason you two find yourself in divorce court. Yes, Your is Honor. Is that right? Okay, so Mr. J so all out the blue, he lazy. Come on now, either she lying and the dude not lazy, or the dude been lazy and she ain't had no problem with it. So why you got a problem with it now? Jackson, you brought this case. Tell me why we're. But I think she just saying that to try to make the man look bad. But we gonna see what it is. So uh, you know, me and Miss Hawkins met uh, at my part-time job about three, four years ago. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, when I seen her, I was, she was beautiful. You know, so I approached her, asked if I can take her out. You know, she said yes. So okay. I ended up taking her out, and then what attracted me the most to her was when she said, this yeah, is going to be our last time going out. I was like, yeah, this woman is amazing. She's strong, beautiful, and confident. Times went on. We this is going to be our last time going out. What? Been, everything was good. No shame mean that. Good. And then, you know, her child's father came in the picture. You know, he started watching her son at, at, at her house. Mm -hmm. so that's, that's when our relationship took a drain. And we oh, yeah, that's some bull crap right there. Hell no, bro. It's okay for him to go ahead and try to be in his kid's life, you know what I'm saying? But you got to watch the kid at her house. You know he was over there smashing. We ended up stop talking. Okay, so you broke up for a bit. Uh, we stopped talking for a couple of weeks. Then she ended up pocket dialing and butt dialing me. We ended up talking back. She started talking about what? The family. Man, she ain't butt dial you and then y'all in the back. Man, hell no. That is not how it happened, bro. Maybe she called you on purpose and then told you, oh, I ain't even mean to call you type stuff. You know what I'm saying? But she ain't pocket dial you and then y'all end up having the whole conversation. Hell no. That's not how it worked, bro. When somebody do that, a lot of times you just be listening to what's going on in the background. They don't even know what they did until later. And you tell them, like, bro, you know that you called me, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? Married, moving in with each other. Because the time when she did leave, the first time, you know, I realized, like, man, like, that's the one, mm -hmm. you know? So if, if I ever get back talking with her, she's not going nowhere. I'm going to be here forever. And then what yeah, changed? Okay. The passing of her son's father. Okay, so you think that figure... Oh, he was happy when that dude was out the picture. He was like, okay, I don't got to worry about him over there at her house no more, trying to watch this boy, and blah, blah, blah. It's on. It's largely in your relationship. We back in there. Ms. Hawkins, I can imagine that somebody that you used to have a relationship with and uh, that's the father of your child, their passing can be traumatic. Yeah. But you were in a relationship with Mr. Jackson and you decided to maintain that relationship. Yes. How did it go from him feeling so wonderful about the relationship to now wondering if it's a real relationship anymore? After he passed, um, I did have to get my son in counseling and, mm -hmm. you know, different things. I do have an eight-year-old that comes first. You had to take some time to grieve okay. the loss. That makes a lot of sense, you know what I'm saying? At least Shane just say, you would be all right. That's what a lot of parents would have did. And to make sure that your child was in the best position to succeed and get through such a traumatic loss. Is that exactly. fair to say? Yeah. You know, a lot of these parents, they kids be going through all types of crazy stuff. And then they just be like, oh, you smart. You will be okay. You'll be all right. Might take him to the store and buy him a toy, buy him a new outfit or something, and keep it moving. They don't even try to help the kid get through whatever they just went through. And that's messed up. But at least she actually trying, so we got to give her some credit for that. Okay, so, Mr. Jackson, why don't you start to walk me through what has happened to make you want to come here and question your relationship? Well, before that, it was the name calling and the picking and just degrading me. Our name calling, oh, man. Home. Do, are you successful at it? Uh, yes, yes. And what a lot of people don't understand is when you're working from home, you're actually working, you're just not at home, just not doing anything. Oh, that's me. I work from home yeah. all the time. I already know she's trying to downplay the job. Oh, you ain't doing nothing. You chilling all day. You ain't doing this and that. Just because she got to leave the house to make money. This is what people do, bro. Whenever you can do something that they can't do, they try to find a way to downplay it. Not all the time, of course, but a lot of times this is what people do. Yeah. And I have my ritual. You know, I get up, I People shower. love to talk trash about things that they wish they had or things that they wish they could do. 
or just things that they don't understand. Or I do some exercise, I have my breakfast, but then I go to my desk where it's time to work. Is that correct? Correct. So the perception of me being at home, I'm lazy because not everything's getting done because I'm at home. On the outside looking in, I also have a job that I have to do. So, you know, my 15... That's that gaslighting, bro, because she obviously know that the man is making money working at the crib. He, it ain't like he broke and not getting no money. So she knows that this man is making money, not just chilling at the crib all day, but she's still going to sit there and talk to him like he just chilling at the crib all day, knowing that that's not what it is. But she want to make the man feel some type of way, you know what I'm saying? And that's lame as hell. Minutes, you know, I throw a load in. I wash dishes, and then it's just a degrading, you know, as far as, like, I'm not good enough or I should be doing more of my life, but I put my life on the back pedal. So <laughs> That's she crazy. With her. So she going to treat this man like he a dude with no job, like he just chilling at the crib playing PlayStation all day because he got a work-from-home job. That's why she's saying he lazy, because he at home all day, but it's not like he at home doing nothing. Come on, now. You want to act like a dude only... Not lazy if he got a regular job and he had to leave the house to make money. That's some lame ass, stupid ass shit. Business and what she has going on as her entrepreneur. So, you know, me working from home I'm, it allows me to watch her son while she's out and about doing whatever she needs to do. I pay all the utilities. I pay a little bit half of the rent sometimes. And sometimes I even tell her, like, you know, it's okay. I take care of this whole month. You just focus on what you See? need to focus on. So you See, that's what I'm saying, bro. That's how you know she on some BS. She just want to make the man feel some type of way. Just want to downplay what he got going on and had a nigga questioning, damn, am I doing enough? You know what I'm saying? This is what they do to try to get a dude to do even more. You know what I'm saying? But obviously this man is taking care of business. He got a job from the crib. But she want to sit here and talk to him like he lazy because he home all day. He's supposed to be home for most of the day when he works from home. You know what I'm saying? You don't make no damn sense. But some of these females, they just say anything to try to get up under a nigga's skin to get the reaction that they want. She hoping that, okay, this is going to make him do even more. And he ain't falling for it, obviously. Pull your weight financially. Yes. And you help her with her son. Yes. Because she's a package deal. If I'm going to be with her, I have to have some type of relationship with her son. I'm not going to not allow myself to talk to her and not have some type of relationship with her son. And that's my little man. Like, he has a dear spot in my heart. Now, Miss Hawkins, I'm going to tell you, to the women in the audience, I see head shaking. They're going, okay, if you don't want him, I shall take him because <laughs> he sounds like he's Ungrateful doing all the things he's supposed to do. Over What's here helping on? you and your son, though. You over here downplaying this man, this man paying the bills paying most of the bills, even letting you go months where he paying all of the bills and helping you out with your son. You got the nerve to say this man lazy just because he working from home, man. Come on, bro. Just because he don't got to go out to make his money, you want to try to flip it like he lazy and just chilling at the crib because he getting money and it seemed like the way he making his money is easier than the way that you make your money. He That's some hating stuff right son. there. Just recently he started watching my son when my mother moved out of town. That was the person who always watched my child. Okay, it don't matter how long he been watching your child. He still watch your child, and he don't have to. Be grateful for that. Come on, now don't downplay it, though. He just started watching my son. He ain't had to start watching your son at all. Together. So if I'm not getting off till 7 and my son come home, he's home because we all live together. Got it. So, uh, okay, we can say that. Does he carry his we part can of the say financial that. burden of the family? Yes, and I do as well. Absolutely. So, you all are in a relationship. Basically. So we both go half on the rent, and he pays the utilities. Okay. So that's like an extra $300 a month, and it's like he goes overboard, like, I pay this. Like, you only pay $300 more than me, but... So you gonna see, here she go down, playing everything this man bring to the table. He say he helped with the kid. You say, oh, you just started helping with the kid, and, oh, we can say that, and blah, blah, blah. I want to try to make it seem like he don't help with your son. That's not his. So you already downplaying that. Then you say that the man lazy and he just chilling at the crib all day because he worked from home when you know he making money while he in the crib. Come on, bro. Now you want to downplay this too? This is all she do. And this is what some of these females do because they just want more and more and more. She talking about it's just a little $300. Well, if it's just a little $300, do you pay that shit in? I buy the food. I bring the food in. I cook the food. And what I need is somebody that we're on the same page and a team. When her son's with me, I have to feed him. So, of course, I got to cook. 
You know, it's just he's just not starving. He do be starving. I'm, I Man. work. I pick up my son from the bus, <laughs> and then I bring them. Food. He do be so starving. I make time for my son. <laughs> well. So it's bro. She lying, bro. Come on now. You know you're not just messing with this dude and he leaving your son starving, bro. And if you are, then that's messed up right there. But. Obviously, this man not just letting the little boy star, but we see how she planned it. She been lying since the beginning of this episode. Not that he's cooking, like getting up, making full meals. If anything, is warming something see, up. He barely cooks for his own see, stuff. See, and I work 10 hours, so like... This is what family does. You have to do compromise because a kid may have basketball right. or soccer. That's or not cool, bro. He has boxing that I take you see how she try to downplay everything that he bring to the table, but he not doing it to her. He ain't saying, oh, all she do is this, all she do is that. She just do this, she just do that. But this is what she's saying about everything. Everything that this man brings to the table. Him too. I'm not complaining. It ain't never he good enough. Complaining about and she got the nerve to act like this, and he taking care of a kid that ain't even his. I take him, drop him off at home. He's there with you for three hours. But when I come home, I'm cooking dinner as well. Don't forget, I just bought y'all lunch, because I know that you can't do much. My son will warm up him some food. Wow. Did y'all hear how she just said that? Say he can't do much. Oh my goodness, she's so damn disrespectful. If he needs to, so this charade that he's putting up that I have to cook, I have to clean. He he doesn't do any of that. But I do do it. When she gets done cooking, I wash the dishes. Sometimes she works a double. She won't get off till ten o'clock at night. I look. I you have take to, responsibility for yes, the family. For correct, that. and that's when I step in. You know, hey, you might have to go do something. Don't worry about it. I'll go do this. And I'm not Man. saying I'm not up here complaining that I have to do it. I'm doing it because I love you, because I mess with you, because I don't have to do none of this stuff. Man, a lot of these females, they just can't make their mind up. They say they don't need a man for this and that. But then, obviously, they do need a man because you see how she complaining and saying that she want him to do this and that and acting like, oh, she the only one that work hard around the damn house. Even though this dude just said that he pay all of the bills half the time, but it still ain't enough. Then, if he was to tell her, you know what, just stay home, you don't got to work, then she'd be like, no, I want to work. But then when you work, you complain about it. It's like, damn, a nigga can't win either way it go. You go to work, you're going to complain about that. Then, if you stay at home and I do everything, you're going to complain about that. He did, It don't matter what the man do. She downplaying his job, talking about he lazy and this and that. Hey. Then the man taking care of her son, and she want to say, oh, all he do is this, all he do is that. I want to do this. I don't. I so don't you're not complaining it. about yeah, not doing complaining. it. I love doing this because I don't. Because I have a. But you want acknowledgement for correct, doing it. Correct. Correct. I want it to be out of love. Don't bring me food because I'm watching your son. Bring me food. I'm not. Food, I'm bringing you food me. so he can eat because you don't have to feed him. That's why I'm bringing you food. So that I'm clear, Whoa. she's been bringing lunch home to make sure that my that, son that, that her. This disrespectful biz naive. Let's go ahead and skip past her. But here's the thing about falling in love with somebody and being in a relationship. Love is not enough. Well, it can be enough. I mean, I love my husband with all my heart and soul, and that's enough. And I know he feels the same way about me, but we speak the same language. She yeah. just ungrateful as hell, man. Help you out with your kid and paying most of the bills, even paying all of the bills sometimes. And all you can do is say... Oh, that's all he do. All he do is this. All he do is that. He don't even do this. He don't even do that. Won't even acknowledge anything this man bringing to the table. But I can't feel sorry for this dude because he see what the situation is and he still want to deal with her, still want to help out with a kid that's not even his. So it is what it is. The things that make me happy he wants to do, the things that make him happy I want to do. Uh -huh. um, Mr. Jackson, what makes you happy? Someone just to show me appreciation, just know, know that, you know, what you're doing, it, it feels good. And I'm going to be honest with you, food feeding me makes me happy. It's just <laughs> the simplest thing. It's just somebody that's thoughtful and thinking about me. So you're... If that's what makes you happy, then it don't sound like you've been happy for a while, sir, because she ain't acknowledging anything that you bring to the table. And this is part of the reason why we're here today, because everything that you do, she say, oh, that's it. That's all you do, and he just do this, he just do that language seems to be act of service you like somebody to show affection yeah. and acts of service yes miss hawkins what do you need in a relationship she says she only bring food to the crib because you letting her kids starve even though so you just clearly said you be cooking for the kid and all this go orientated as like me like uh -huh. you know we are on the same page like you've been working on wanting to write the book for a year he probably only wrote like one or two pages 
when you you get off work and you don't do anything like clean up. He watch anime and he's caught up on every season of whatever show he watched. But all I ask. Is <laughs> <laughs> so, see, this is what I'm saying, bro. She downplaying this man having a work from home job, even though it's bringing in enough money for him to pay most of the bills. He even says some months he pay all of the bills, but she got a problem because when he gets off of work, he want to go ahead and have some fun, watch TV and do whatever the thing and do whatever it is that he like to do. Like, he's supposed to just work all day 24-7. Hell no, that's not how things work, bro. He got to have some hobbies. That's what keeps him happy. That's what he like to do in his off time. So what is the problem with that? If he's still taking care of everything that needs to be taken care of, bro, this is why I say, bro, she ungrateful as hell, bro. And this man taking care of your kid that's not even his. For you to put that same thing as into your goals as what I'm trying to do. Mr. Jackson, you know in order to build a success... Talking about what you trying to do. Why you ain't doing it? ...successful marriage, a strong family, you do have to be on the same page. And we, and we are. You, now, you heard her list of all those things that she's doing. She's in school. Mm -hmm. She's working. She's working on her own business as well. So who do you think is taking care of her son as she's you, doing all this? Mm. You do not take care of my son. Mm. Your son doesn't be there. Look at that, bro. Oh, my God. Come on, bro. Y'all let me know in the comments. Who do y'all think is lying right here, bro? She just put herself out there. You that busy. It's no way that you taking care of your son all day. And he been talking about it since the beginning of the episode. All the things that he had to do for your son. And every time he say something, you say that that's a lie. You talking about he leaving the kids starving and all this, bro. She just saying anything to try to make this man look bad. But he still want to deal with this. So I don't get it. Doing all this. If he wants to be there, and your son always wants to be there. Man, her he son has a good relationship. Home, man, her son has a good relationship. I'm not dealing with the son right now because yeah. this young man is one element of this relationship, a big element no. because he comes with the package. And the greatest gift I got in my marriage was I got a bonus child. Correct. Yeah. However, I'm trying to get to the bottom line of what is keeping you two together. Are you ready? Yeah, because right now it don't really make no sense. She act like everything he do ain't good enough. Everything he do ain't right. And he naming all these things that he do. And she just keep on saying, no, that's not how it is. All he do is this. All he do is that. For commitment. I feel like we are here today and nothing that we talked about. I this... you, I go through counseling, therapy, do whatever. Man. You Man, what the hell, bro? See, this is why I said I don't feel sorry for this dude. She been disrespecting this man since the beginning of the episode. And this man is right here proposing to her after all of this disrespect. Y'all didn't even get to the bottom of it. You ain't even got an apology yet. I ain't, ain't like I'm asking for the girl to be perfect. But you ain't even got an apology yet, bro. What the hell? And you gonna sit here? Come on, dog. You niggas kill me. If you'd like your case to be heard on divorce court, call. We talked about family. We talked about all this stuff. Like everything was going good until the passing of her child's father, and that's when all this stuff, as far as with us not being able to communicate, started to happen. So this is why I'm acting like this. Ah. You know, because I feel like I'm. And that's probably a big part of it right there because she used to dealing with two dudes. Now she just dealing with him and she frustrated because she ain't getting everything that she was getting. She was smashing two dudes, getting help from two dudes. Now she just got to depend on him and that's why everything he do ain't good enough. Now it makes sense. I forgot about how she said her baby daddy passed away. I'm in second place. I can't really say nothing about it because if I say something about it, oh, he's, he's, he's not here. You're tripping. You're crazy. This and that. And some of y'all might think I'm trying to be funny when I say she was dealing with two dudes, smashing two dudes, but that's what it sounded like to me. And even he said he fell back once the baby daddy kept on coming to the crib to watch the son. Like, why the hell he got to be at her house to take care of the son? That don't make no damn sense to me. But, like, when I go home and I see pictures of them as a family in the room, I, I feel some type of in way. In my son's room. So how did that make how you feel? Ms. Hawkins, how long ago did um, your baby's father pass He's away? He's been gone for a year and a half now. Did you get a chance to have any additional therapy? No, I have not. And I feel like I'm fine, but I totally understand what he is saying. I do feel like he's jealous. He shouldn't be because the person's not here. I'm not having no... Ch it don't matter that he's not here. You still hanging on to everything that y'all had. Even when he was here, you was probably treating this dude... 
better than you was treating him, which is why he said y'all fell out in the first place, because the dude was always at your crib, and then once he died, that's when y'all got back together. So, obviously, this man is jealous, but here she go, when the like he don't got no reason to feel no type of way. This is what I mean, bro. They love to gaslight a dude and tell him that he wrong even when they know he right. Try to make him feel like he crazy. Try to have him question his own sanity. Try to make him question everything that he's feeling and things like that. Child by somebody I can't even communicate. I'm not marrying someone and getting into a... That is a business. This is a partnership. We are a family, so he has no structure. And I feel like as a man, you Let's should carry part. yourself as a man. And I'm really oh, my honestly goodness. over this relationship. So. Now she over the relationship. She got some nerve, bro. And this man still want to keep on dealing with this. She been disrespecting him since the beginning of the episode, bro. She ain't gave him no credit for not one thing that he brings to the table. Not one time did he do that to her. Not one time did he downplay or try to discredit anything that she do. Not one time did he act like... What she does is not good enough, but that's all she been doing since I pressed play on this episode, bro. And this man still want to fight to be with her. This is why she's doing him like this, because she sees she can treat him like a punching bag. That's all it is. Let's go ahead. Let me fast forward to this part right here, man. See how this go. This is crazy, bro. This man. I feel like we are here today. And nothing that we talked about. I promise this, you, I go through counseling, therapy, do whatever you want me to do. That's this like. Wow. Mr. Never. Jackson. Yes, ma'am. I just we didn't we just talked and then this is it. Like I said, I feel like we need to communicate. Man, this man, jump to dumb, dumb as hell. Like, okay, everything fixed. Let's do it. You just had a whole list of complaints. What was his point of doing that, bro? This man stupid as hell, bro. God damn, bro. You going to get down on one knee. You not even proposing to her. When they showed the little preview, I thought he was proposing. I seen this lady back here. Her mouth was wide open like he was proposing to her. But he just getting down on one knee, begging her after she don't have no respect for him. She don't appreciate anything that he brings to the table. He helped her son out, paying all of the bills. And all she can do is try to downplay this man and say that he lazy and he just stay at home all day even though he has a work from home job. Come on, bro about me but now you want to make me your wife no, you just she... had a whole list of things that i don't do man gonna get down on one knee after she ain't apologized for nothing that she been saying this whole damn time y'all was here so i just feel like somebody who loves me and show that I, that's who wife i want to be that's who kids i want to have sometimes i feel like this is a joke mm. like are you serious then you just have a whole list of things that you just said see, but that's the thing i don't like it i'm willing to talk about it all right, man, I done had enough of this weak-ass nigga, bro. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this video in the comments. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, your boy, y'all.